Full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals are on our website at ulo.co.uk. It's the Betfair Chase at Haydock Park today, and it will be a cracking renewal where some familiar faces will be mixing it with some young pretenders. There's a classy card down at Ascot too, where Dashiell Drasher looks to maintain his unbeaten record at the Berkshire track in the 1965 chase. The would-be winner of the Triumph Hurdle two seasons back, until crashing out at the last, Goshen, tries to resurrect his career by sticking to Ascot's right-handed turns, while over in Ireland, Bob Alinea makes his eagerly anticipated debut over fences. But it's up at Haydock where our nap, brave man's game, lines up in the graduation chase. His debut over fences was eagerly anticipated, and an easy nap to be given in this column. He did not disappoint, storming away over five lengths clear of Fusil Raffles, who went on to win the Grade 2 Charlie Hall chase at Weatherby. Just about one of the most exciting recruits to chasing this season, and should be well in against his more experienced rival Itchy Feet with a £4 pull. Hard to oppose to continue progress on a track to suit. Later on the card, the feature is the Grade 1 Betfair chase, where we'll side with Bristol de May for our Saturday next best. He seems to have been around forever, having started his chase career when barely out of his teens, but Bristol de May knows his way around here on his usual start to the season better than any other chaser. Remarkably, he's only once lost here in six starts, and is a three-time winner of this race. There's a stack of quality opposition this time around, with Cheltenham Gold Cup runner-up, a Plue Tard and Paul Nichols next destination another top-class rival, but horses for courses is as good a tactic as any, so the grey gets the nod.